Hello and welcome to the fifth video of OpenMCT for Engineers. In this video I'm gonna show you how to connect Mission Planner and OpenMCT. First off you need to have Mission Planner installed. A link to the documentation where also the installation is described is in the video description. Additionally you need access to my visualization framework to do it exactly as I do here, but it's not very hard to get data out of Mission Planner in general. And if we connect those two, we can have close to real data in OpenMCT already. So first off, we're gonna adapt the files of the repository so we can read data from Mission Planner. To do so, we are going to alter the Aircraft 42 OpenMCT feed artificial, the, the Python script we created in video 3, and have a look at the Mission Planner OpenMCT feed.python. It's also in the Python scripts dictionary. Furthermore, we have to adapt the dictionary as well because the keys will be different and we will have a lot more keys. In Mission Planner, you can simply access data with the command cs dot some command. Um, here are listed some you can request from Mission Planner, but there are a lot more and you can see them in the Mission Planner documentation. A link to that is also provided in the video description. We want to request this data in every loop, so we are gonna copy this data dictionary here from the Mission Planner OpenMCT feed into our loop, so it will get updated on every loop. We have intent too much here, remove that. Alright, so the data dictionary will get updated with the key and the uh, corresponding data on every loop. S I bet we we'll have the wrong variables in here. For that we can also just copy this part here, replace it, we don't need this, replace it with this here. Also an intent too much. And here we say, okay, for every key and value in data.items, we're gonna create a message with the key, value, and timestamp, and we are gonna send the message to UDP port we specified, and we do that with every data, and then we are gonna sleep for a little time because else. Um, some data will be sent double because the Python script is working is the Python script loop is too fast. So now we could re start this script in Mission Planner and get data out, but the keys are not yet registered with OpenMCT. To do so, we have to alter the dictionary. You see here, I started already with example. Let well is latitude. Uh, long well is longitude and ground course is heading. Those three are actually special keys because the map plugin needs certain keys to identify which telemetry point corresponds to latitude, longitude and heading. Um, we need for the heading, heading in the key. For the longitude, L and G needs to be somewhere in the key and for latitude, L A T needs to be somewhere in the key. And uh, so we can continue updating it with, for example, let's just copy this here, pasting it, update the key, this is the altitude, it's in meters, that's already right, and the expected format is float. So we have to do this with all the keys, implement them here. So I will skip that. So now I updated the dictionary with copy pasting and adapting the different values and measurements. Here for example the arm 
message comes as a string, so we can put in format string. So OpenMCT will parse it the right way. So with updating the dictionary, we should see the newly defined uh, telemetry points in OpenMCT. And indeed we do. Here are the values I intend to request from Mission Planner. So, how do we start the Mission Planner simulation, which will produce our telemetry? It's rather simple. We go to Mission Planner, to the Simulation tab, and here you can set some special model, but we are just gonna place our home position wherever we like. Here it's the EDMO airport in Oberpfaffenhofen. And we will initiate our plane by just clicking on the plane down here. And as you can see, it's now like the plane is really standing there. We are connected via a TCP port. Mm, and we can see all the data of the aircraft here. It's disarmed, it has some errors. But let's first create a plan. Um, we are just gonna do a takeoff and then do some aids over the airport like that. Let's uh, you need to specify our first point is the takeoff point. Then it will go to the other waypoints and it would stop at 5 and just loiter there. But we will add another waypoint at the end and say do jump to waypoint 2. And if you put here, you can say how often it shall do this. Uh, we will just say do it forever. And now we have our mission planned. We will save our waypoints, write it to the plane. And we are already good to go starting our simulation. Just go to the data tab, to actions and set the mode to auto. So here the mode auto is set and just arm the aircraft and it will start. So now to pump out our data, we will have to start the script in Mission Planner. To do so, we go here on scripts. Now choose our script, the aircraft 42 open MCT feed artificial, it's not artificial anymore, we will change that later. And then we're gonna say run this script and we should see the data flowing here very nicely. So now we have the Python script pumping out the data to a UDP port, which is not yet opened since the telemetry server is not started. But as we know from the previous videos, we just go to the OpenMCT telemetry server folder and start it with npm start. We are initialized, looks very good. And we should see now the data in OpenMCT and here we go. Sometimes you need to reload your screen especially if you just started the telemetry server so it will connect to the real-time server and serve also real-time data. Like we can see here, we can see the roll. It's not rolling at the moment because it's on a straight probably, yes. And we will see when we go around the corner, we will see a spike here. And here we go. Now we're doing a left corner. Here we can see uh, armed is not implemented as a integer or float, uh, but a string, and that's why it's printing just the true strings in a telemetry table. So now let's build a new display for the new, more realistic data. 
Um, for this we're gonna create another display layout in our aircraft 42 objects, call it aircraft 42 mission planner. Okay, so here we got our new empty display layout. So here we can also reuse some old objects like the notebook. Um, unfortunately the keys have changed so the old display is not working anymore. Um, there is no data incoming and I unfortunately can't reuse the objects I created in here. So let's set up a little display real quick. If you want to watch another display being built, stay tuned for the next two and a half minutes or you can also just skip ahead. So now we see how quickly we can build a little display in OpenMCT and here we also have an example on um, the data is not arriving as expected, it's not in cheese but uh, we have to divide it by 1000 to get G load. Um, we can do this directly here in the Python script or we can also do it in the telemetry source object aircraft 42 here on message when it arrives and if the data is the G load do some calculation but uh, for to have it easier we just gonna do it in here so make it positive and divide it by 1000 and then stop the script in here and start it again and we can see now we've got the G load right here so you can see it's fairly easy displaying data from mission planner in OpenMCT and thus you can use it with every telemetry producing object compatible with mission planner and step up your ground control station game to a NASA grade mission control terminal. So have fun playing with this and see you in the next video.